Good morning, good morning, good morning. Happy Tuesday to you all. Pray you all received sweet sleep last night. Woke up with bells and whistles on, ready to take on this new day. For it is the day that the Lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Again, happy Tuesday to you guys. Pray that you had a great weekend, the extended weekend, that you had a great time with your family on whatever it is that you chose to do. Prayers to those who had lost loved ones um, due to military serving in the military. So good morning, good morning, good morning to you all. Welcome to the Gathering of Hearts on this morning. I am Regina Banks, your GPS to wholeness aka I am the heart gatherer and this morning your daily dosage is don't accept things as they are don't accept things as they are you know oftentimes we accept the consensus opinion of others or the majority um of what others has to say as fact, as the truth. We accept what others say as far as how things are, how things are gonna be. We accept the way things um, appear. You know, we don't always kick our faith in first. Sometimes we just accept things the way they are, you know, and we'll say things out of our mouth to line up that we're accepting the way things are. You know, how many of us have said more times than we like to count? I mean, it is what it is, or, you know, when it rains, it pours. Or, you know, I've even heard people say things about, you know, like when this interest rate comes down, I'm going to get me a house. Or when this interest rate comes down, I'm going to refinance. We come into agreement with what the world says. We come into agreement with what is going on. These are the false ideas that we take as the truth. If you begin to, or continue to accept false narratives, you begin to sabotage your own future. You begin to sabotage the ability to get what you want. Listen, Romans 4, 17, and I'm reading it in the King James Version. This is when Abraham is being promised to be the heir to the world. It says, as it is written, I have made thee a father of many nations before him whom he believed, even God who quickened the dead and calleth those things which be not as though they were. And so here we know that Abraham, he did not consider his personal circumstance, not being weak in faith, who against hope believed in hope. He listened, Abraham said, I am fully persuaded that what God said he was going to do, he is going to do it. And that's the way we have to be. We have to be fully persuaded. We have to call those things that be not as though they they were your life. <clears throat> I'm going to say it like this. Your life is like a blank canvas. You know how a painter, a artist, he has a blank canvas. It starts out blank and he begins to take a paintbrush and he takes paint and he begins to create something beautiful. Now let's just say whatever is in his head doesn't really come out on that canvas or he makes a mistake. You know, a painter, an artist has a way of mixing colors. He may take a red and a blue to make a yellow or whatever it is. He picks two colors to create a color that he wants. What are you saying, Pastor G? That you have the ability, just like a painter, to create what you want, and you create it with your words, you create it with your faith, so maybe life does not look like what you want it to look like. Maybe at this point in life, you're not where you thought that you would be. Well, brothers and sisters, Heartbeat Nation, you have the power, you have the authority to create what you want with your words. See, God has given all of us a measure of faith. And at this point now, it's time for you to work your faith. So, so what? There's more month than money. If you are a tither, if you are a giver, all you've got to do is open up your mouth and begin to take God back to his word. You said, if I bring the tithe into the storehouse and make room, make meat in your house, you said that you 
you would open up the windows of heaven and pour me out a blessing that I don't have room enough to receive. Maybe the body isn't working right. Maybe you've got a diagnosis that is taking you over. You've got to know how to work your faith and take God back to his word. Lord, you are the Lord thy God that healeth me. Lord, you said in, in Psalm 103 that I have a daily benefit of healing. You've got to learn how to work your faith. You've got to learn how to call those things that are not as though they are. Abraham, listen, he didn't look at the age. He didn't look at that the soldiers weren't marching anymore. He didn't look at that Sarah was barren. He looked at and received the word that God said, that if God said it, that it has to happen, that he is not a God that will lie. He does not do that, that if he said it, you can take it to the bank. And so you've got to begin to switch your brain on this morning, that no matter what it is that you are facing, God is still. God. God is our provider. God is our father. God is our banner. God is our healer. Listen, God is whatever you need him to be. Whenever you need him to be it, you just got to work your faith. You just got to open up your mouth and call things how you want them to be. Not how they are, not how they are in the present, but you've got to begin to open up your mouth and you've got to see past your now. That's right. Work your faith on this morning. See past your now. Begin to speak what you want to see, not what is going on right before your very eyes. Speak it as if it is already happening. You getting ready to buy a house? Start talking about it already. I am a new homeowner. I have a new house. I'm going to shop for the things that I want in my new house. You begin to speak that thing. We're not going to allow an interest rate to control our faith or let make us think that an interest rate controls our, what God can do. God is bigger than an interest rate. Glory to God. God is bigger than any diagnosis that you could ever have. God is bigger than any situation that you might be facing right now. After all, he is God. Hallelujah. He is the King of Kings. He is the Lord of Lords. He is the promise keeper. He is the way maker. He is the lifter of your head. He is, he is. He says, I am that I am. And so you need to work your faith this morning. You need to begin to exercise that muscle, get it up there and begin to understand who you are, that you have power and you have authority in your mouth, that as long as your words are lining up with what God said, everything is already all right. So begin to praise your way out. Begin to worship your way out. Remember who your God is, that he has no rivals, that he has no equals, that nobody compares to him. Nobody is close to number one. There's nobody that can even get close to him. He is our God. He is sovereign. Glory to God. He is the Holy One of Israel. And it is finished. It is written that he is who he is. And so you've got to switch your brain and you've got to remember who our God is and begin to call things that as they are, not as they are, but as you want to see them, you've got to call those things which be not as though they already were. Amen. Don't accept things as they are. That is the daily dosage for today. If you have not subscribed to the YouTube channel already, please do so because there you can find all of your dosages in one place. Follow me on social media platforms. God wants me whole. Visit the website, godwantsmewhole.org. You know how we do this thing. Come on, let's say it together. Say, God wants me whole. <laughs> And I am, again, I am Regina Banks, your GPS to wholeness, a.k.a. I am the heart gatherer. I love you guys a bunch. Go out there. Have a spec while amazing day. Look out for falling blessings because they are falling all around you. And don't forget, don't accept things as they are. Get on out there. Do the daggone thing. Make the change and see what you want to see. You have the authority to have the life that you have always envisioned. All you've got to do is open up your 
mouth, speak that thing, believe it in your heart and work your faith. Remember, he's given all of us a measure of faith, but it's how you work it will determine what you will have and what type of lifestyle you will have in the kingdom of God. Don't accept things as they are. I'll see you in the morning.